Guys, guess who's coming to Chicago with us? Snap is coming and Thor. and Thor. Thor's not here. He's not around us right now, but we got to bring our kitties to Chicago because we got some We got news an update. We got an update. The hurricane. So, in Florida. as of right now, we are expected to be getting a category 3 hurricane or worse. They're not really sure how it's going to be when it hits us. Honestly, it might change directions completely, but we're just going to bring them no matter what because honestly, we don't know whether another one could form, you know? And then we we're not here. Like I would rather them be yeah, with we're us. Gonna be out for a week too because we scheduled our flight a couple days early just so we would get to Chicago because we don't even know if they, the flights would be open on Wednesday yeah but yes we're about to get hit by a category three or four hurricane hopefully not hopefully we don't because you know it would obviously be really bad and if you did not know a category three hurricane ranges in the center wind speeds from like a hundred to like 130 miles an hour in the center and the center is gonna be hitting us so yeah. it's gonna be like freaking terrible yeah and we don't have hurricane shutters honestly we should have been prepared last year yeah. and gotten them. Our house didn't come with them. Usually your yeah. house comes with them because when they build the houses in Florida, know, everyone we, has yeah. hurricane shutters. So whoever owned this house before us or before them lost them, stole them, or just took them and never yeah, came back. Yeah, they probably did take them. I they probably just them. they probably just grabbed them. Yeah, they did. Do you think they had them for all windows? A hole, yes, just... they probably did. <sighs> God. Because they, we literally had holes around all the windows. You could see where they once could go. And that's what's scary. And now they're all gone. Since we don't have hurricane shutters, say a window breaks, I would hate for the cats to be out and have glass shattering on them or, you know, they run out and we can't find them and they get like, I guess that's just like worst case scenario. Yeah. But like, I'm trying to think of the best plan and the best plan is just to take them with us. I'll feel bad knowing they're safe with us. But, but what, what is, is good, Mama Squad? squad welcome and welcome back. back to our channel. Enough with the hurricane stuff. We will keep you up to date with that. Cross our fingers, nothing bad happens yeah but today mariah is going to no. be asking me this is my video today okay, honey let's take control today we're going to be testing this bad boy's innocence and i'm not I'm asking him now. innocence now because he's not that innocent now i want to know when he was a child no i how, am innocent now you are not innocent in the, now i'm not how what makes me not innocent <laughs> okay no, no but that. i will say Actually, you know what? I think you were less innocent when you were a kid. The stories that he used to I definitely me was were exposing him to. I had no responsibilities, and I could basically do whatever I want when your parents go to sleep. You know what I mean? So like, you guys, all I have yours. to say is the questions you guys ask are absolutely hilarious, and I'm excited because these are questions <laughs> I don't even know. Like, I want to know too. So we're testing your innocence today, and you are answering I'm ready each for question. It. I'm ready. You have to answer it truthfully and honestly. I got you. I wish I had a lie detector test on you right now. I'm not gonna. Lie. I'm not gonna you know when I lie also make sure to subscribe if you have not to our channel and follow us on Instagram That is where we ask the questions for these videos We always comment them on our stories whenever we do a YouTube video and we want to incorporate you guys in in any way So these are gonna be questions coming straight from the Marvel squad straight from our Instagram followers Um, okay. I want to start off this question juicy. Okay. okay. Did you ever steal something from school like a pen blue stick books? Yeah, probably would you steal? I definitely did did. You oh my gosh, wait, I have to think back. So I used to be that kid that would get into everything. And you know in science class how it's a huge science room and there's a bunch of drawers, but they're yeah. all locked. Well, I learned how to pick locks when I was a kid because I was really them? curious. So I was starting Ew. to unlock all the drawers. And I, I feel like I might have taken some science school materials or something, but like Bill. definitely pencils, pens, highlighters, I'm markers. Like I'm sure there's stuff like that. Book fair. Oh, I stole from book I fair. Stole from book fair too. Who did it steal but from listen, book fair? Come but on. me, I told the teacher and I had to write like a hundred page, yeah, that's uh, a hundred word up. essay. That's you, you can never go grabbed. back, never go back to the crime scene. Listen, never say anything. I just was a type of person that felt guilty if I didn't say, if place. I didn't plead my If you my couldn't handle it, honey, you shouldn't have stolen in the first place. <laughs> okay. Okay. I don't steal stuff at all. Okay, that was just when I was a kid. When did you lose your V card? What age? <laughs> did we ever ask this on me? I don't think so. What age? Oh yeah, I did when we were doing a Q&A with my mom on our Yeah, but you, you didn't say. I think You 16. said the person. 16. 16? 16. Not even Yeah, 16 years old. Okay. When you were a kid, like in your, I don't even know, old enough to be doing this, did you ever smoke or touch any alcohol? Touch alcohol. So I never smoked, no, no, I never was a smoker or an alcohol drinker until I turned like a freshman in high school and that's when I started like 
drinking a little bit. But it was only like the White Claws and the Red Dapple Owls and stuff like that. Never like liquor or anything. I did try beer maybe when I was a kid, yeah. but it tasted nasty and I, I dumped it in the sink because <laughs> I was scared my dad was gonna like catch me. But smoking, I literally only smoked like once in my life early on when I was a kid. And I wasn't even a kid. I was probably like he was old a sophomore, junior in high school. Yeah. I never really, never, never smoked. No? No. I'm being honest. Yeah, he, I'm being honest. We're not really I, like. I turned it down. Yeah. I've been offered marijuana and not cigarettes. Nobody smokes cigarettes. When my dad was young, they did, but not anymore. Like when I was in school, I would smoke cigarettes. Not I would smoke cigarettes. I did puff a few cigarettes, but like that was like my age yeah. time. Like, no, marijuana though, like, oh my God, I've been offered it like probably over a hundred times. And I just said no because I was never really like, I was like, I'd rather good. drink. You were a good boy. I'd rather drink a white claw. Good. Boy. Like, I don't know. Okay. I was always scared of getting arrested too for some reason. <laughs> So. Oh my god, okay. So it's actually funny that I'm asking you this because Bring it we on. actually opened up on YouTube, but for all the new people that haven't known this, did you ever steal money from his oh parents? Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Have okay. I ever stolen money? Yes, I have. Um, and he confessed if you guys are I, I think I've stolen over like, it was over $1,000 at one point, maybe 1500 bucks. That I is used to, terrible. Every, every day I used to steal like 20 bucks, 20 bucks. That's so. terrible. <laughs> and that's why, if you guys haven't seen the video, he did. That's why he confessed to his parents like on video I, and actually I literally gave him cried, gave money back. Cried on camera. The car, my first first car I sold it and I used all that money to pay my mom and dad back which is really every sweet. dollar that I stole that so was really sweet. I, me and my mom and dad are cool now they thought it was funny my dad had no idea that it happened did your dad tear up a little bit maybe in the video? he was just like oh I don't want it he didn't want the money and I I'm like no I'm giving you the money yeah he's like oh I had no idea yeah I just you know I was like I was freaking out because for years I just like oh yeah uh, yeah you were a bad don't boy. steal from your parents because it will come back to you and you will feel like absolute butt especially if you're not lucky enough like I am to be able to pay them back yeah okay have you ever ate your boogers of course Were you bo of course Who you ate your boogers? you're lying if you tell me I you never I ate a booger <laughs> you never ate a booger no you're a lie everyone I'm on here i bet you okay. has nibbled on a boogie before i no i have i had a booger wall that had my boogers on it but i never put a booger i feel in like my a mouth. booger wall is nastier than eating your own booger bird no it's but. not going in your mouth it's going on a wall Oh, just Ew, at it. no, oh. that's bro. So you ate your boogers? Yeah. I was I thought you were gonna say no. Not all of them, but I've eaten a booger before. <laughs> 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 Tell me a kid that hasn't. No, most kids you probably You had to have. You're a lot. That's I cat. don't remember, that but I cat. would never choose to be like, that oh. That is cat. People are like, oh, booger. Eat I don't it. believe that for a second. No. I, Good I, thing this isn't a Q&A on you because I feel like you I would fail. answer no because as of right now, I don't think I've ever eaten a booger. I don't think I've ever enjoyed eating right. a booger. All right. I'm going to hold you to that. All right. Whatever. Was he ever in trouble with the law for something? Not in a traffic spot. So you, you got pulled over because of you speeding in a school zone, mm -hmm. which he did do that. That was bad. That was really that bad. Was, he had to go to court. Was, yeah, and everything. <laughs> but anything else that's like with the law? Like, did you do anything that got you in trouble? So there was one time that I almost got in trouble. Me, I know how to pick locks. I picked a lock to this abandoned, it wasn't an abandoned place. It was a locked, like, God, you are a menace. Building by my house, right? That you are and menace. all my friends and me snuck in. We were riding our bikes around this big building because it was only a uh, cement platform, you know? So we were all inside this building. It was so funny and so fun. And then all of a sudden, I'm like, wait, do you hear that? And I hear like a, and I'm like, what the heck is that? And I walk outside the building. And right when you open up the door to get outside the building, there's just like an alarm on the building going, Wah! and it's so freaking loud. I don't know how we didn't hear it in the building. It was so loud. You can hear it from miles away. Me and my friends you never told dipped me this one. immediately. And the moment we got across the street and into the neighborhood, we heard the cop sirens <gasps> pulling up. So they had a silent alarm. You never told and, me this uh, one. They had a silent alarm and a, like a loud alarm. Wow. So I was that close. Naughty. See, he wasn't innocent. We got boy. all the way back to my house. He wasn't innocent. We got guys. all the way back to my house and went in my garage and we could still hear it. The siren was that freaking loud. It was crazy. Guys, he's naughty. So I almost got, almost got caught by the law. Jeez. But I'm a rebel. Are you? Yes. Wow, you're such a badass. <laughs> Full disclosure, I don't know how to unlock cars. I don't know how to unlock house doors. I, I don't, um, I have not picked a lock in years, so I don't do that. Don't think I was like that. And then the lock at the place was super easy. It was like a screw in the, anyways, yeah. Okay, have you ever been skinny dipping? Yes. With your boyfriend, like the boys? With the boys and a girl. 
A girl? When it was pitch black, <laughs> yes, you know that. Uh, no, 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 no. I did not know a girl. Who <gasps> whispered in my ear? Whispered in my ear. <laughs> I'm not whispering. In whispered in my ear right the Baby, hell now. No. Whispered in my no. ear. Whisper, Phil, I'm not finishing the basket, whisper it in my ear. No! Whisper it in my freaking ear right now. You did not tell me you went skinny dipping with a girl. This, you said just your boy guy. This is when I was like 12. No, whisper it in my damn ear right now. I didn't even know you existed right then. I don't care, whisper it, because I know, I know all the people that you've associated with, whisper it in my ear right now. No. I don't believe you then. Whisper it in my freaking ear, Bill. No, you don't I know who it is. Who? Yeah. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> I can't even believe that. You never told me that. Yes, you knew that, babe. I swear you're I told you. are hearing it from me after I this told, video. Oh my. I no, you're this girl it had short-term memory loss. So She's remember literally me Dory on Finding Nemo. No, because you never told me that. And you, I know you didn't tell me that because I All know right, you just, wouldn't tell me that. Come on. I'm no. being honest. You're not even appreciating my honesty. I never went skinny dipping oh with another God. guy. Oh my ever. God. Ever. I've only went skinny dipping. This was literally like nine years ago. I was 10 years Years ago, this I'm, is the life, guys. No, I'm a little, I'm a little. Being judged for being honest, I don't understand. Have you ever snuck out of your parents' house? Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah, I snuck out middle of the night, all the way up until the a.m. Sometimes I'd sleep over at my friend's house because wow. their parents didn't care if we left. We'd just like run around the neighborhoods, going skinny dipping and stuff. I'm kidding. Oh, but there was one one time where we did not go skinny dipping, but we went pool hopping. You know what that is? Where you go to different houses and you go pool. Yeah, you just pool. jump in their pools. Yeah, you are that. crazy kid. It was fun. Good time. I know this answer, but I want to see if you'll answer it. Oh my it god, on what? <laughs> when you were a kid, have you ever satisfied yourself? And how many times did you do it in one day? Why is this even being <laughs> asked? I don't know. You I do don't, know. I don't know. You do know because you there, confessed your sins the other week. No, I did not. Yes, you did. Dude, when people are just figuring out about themselves and their bodies and stuff and you're young, like it's just like whatever happens, happens, you know? So, what? You're just curious times, you know? Don't tell you, Pete. I want to know this. Did you ever get detention? Oh, heck yeah. Yeah, a lot. Oh my god. How did you get detention? No, I hated detention. Oh my god, detention is so stupid. I think detention is the most dumbest thing in the world. It is so dumb. It doesn't do anything. And the teachers think they're so hard. I it. know. Hey, I know. if there's any teachers on here and you're giving out detentions, thank you for being a teacher, by the way. But I'm telling you, don't be one of those teachers that thinks like they're the hardest, hardest teacher. Oh, you're in detention. You better stop talking. Like, come on. It's not that deep. It like, is. you guys need to, like, ki like <laughs> kids don't care. They're going to get out of detention and, they're and just be like, make fun oh, of you. Not detention, they're guys. literally going to make fun of you. Oh, she was trying to boss me around. She's so strong. Like, come on. Or he. Like, God. Okay, anyways. <laughs> some teachers are so annoying. Like, some teachers just, like, need to calm down. Oh, I want to know this. What? Did you ever write love letters to girls in class oh yeah i did you did oh I you did, did. You, you guys want to know something though i was what? a little upset that you you saved all your love letters remember no yeah you did you guys you wrote to this girl that was at mariano's i know <laughs> that was before we i know dating. but you showed me it and i was so upset that was before we started dating was that did i work there yet no, yet no I don't think so. okay good i forget no yeah so you basically have you, you wrote love letters maybe I think it was just like a Baby, can like you write love letters to me? Baby, you know I love you. Yeah, but you don't write you've never wrote me a love letter. You okay, you want a love yeah. Okay, I'll write you a letter. I do like an actual written love right. letter. Like not typed, like I want it written with your right. actual handwriting. Alright. I could save it forever and frame it. It's called a vow. You'll get it on our wedding day. <laughs> I was kidding. I want an I'm actual kidding. I know, love I know, I know. letter. That would be so cute. So, oh my god, with your handwriting. <laughs> I don't have anything of your handwriting. I don't have anything of yours either. Write me a love letter, I'll write you one back. Exactly. The two-way streak, baby. Oh. Last question. How many girlfriends did he have as a preteen? Oh my gosh, like none. I did none? not date. I didn't date a lot. Preteen? I would say maybe like two. Two? Yeah, but they weren't like long. All I have to say is know. Bill I was, was known teenager. as a major flirt. Okay. He was one of the biggest flirts. I think that's when I became like a teenager. I'm a savage. I'm a savage. Pre-teen though, like I really didn't have any. Actually, if I did have girlfriends, like I didn't I don't remember, but it must have only been like for a day. Like, oh yeah, that's my girlfriend. Like I, I feel like it was like some stupid kid stuff like that. Yeah. But I I didn't date a lot. I might have been a flirt, but like I wasn't you like a go-getter. I wasn't good at finishing yes, the mission. Yes, you were. Yes, I was you not good at 
were. at finishing the mission. Yes, you were. Yeah, you were. I think you were. Um, Nowadays, maybe. Yeah. Your innocence was definitely a three out of ten, which means you were pretty naughty. Three out of ten. I maybe was four. not. Oh maybe my four. God. This maybe girl four. downplays. She, no. she makes me seem like I'm such a flirt. I'm, I'm such this. Baby, that. that's not it. I'm just saying you weren't as innocent as you as you claimed to be. Oh, when I was maybe a kid. Maybe not. Yeah, as a kid. Oh, okay. I mean, I would give myself a now four. Now you're at good. Least. Now you're nine. I would say a four or five. I had a fun time when I was a kid. You did have a fun time. You were pretty crazy. I was. <laughs> I, now we got to do Mariah. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up because I want to see this girl's innocence. She did a lot worse stuff than me. No, you I didn't. Did. You were blasted in the so front lawn. Wasted. What? And an ambulance came. Your dad. Yes. All right. All right. If you want that, if you want more of Mariah, make sure oh to comment down God. below and give this video a thumbs up. Let's get this video to 3,000 likes. 3,000 likes, we'll do a video on her. Let's see it, guys. I want to see if you want it. All right, But that's guys. it on me. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Wish us luck on this hurricane. We hope it doesn't hit us, but we're, you know, taking our precautions. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. We'll keep you guys updated. We love you guys so much. And we will see, see you in the next video. But until, until then, then, peace. Love, love you guys. guys.